please be seated. Hello, Your Honor. Hello. This is a case of Mueller versus Robinson. Thank you, Jerome. Good day, everyone. Yeah. Mrs. Mueller, you say that after an extremely painful childhood filled with much heartbreak and pain, you turned your life around, joined the military, and got married. But the one thing you still need to know is who is your dad? You've dragged the defendant to court to prove he is your biological father. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. Mr. Robinson, you claim that you've always known you are not Ms. Mueller's biological father and feel badly that you pretended to be just to stop her from being heard. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. So, Ms. Mueller, what emotions are you feeling today standing here in court? I'm hurt. I'm angry. I'm annoyed. Your Honor, when I grew up, I had a rough childhood. I didn't really know either one of my parents very well. I basically raised myself, being raised by myself and the people that I was in foster care with. So I was a little troubled child, but as I grew older, I told myself I didn't want to be like that. So I graduated from high school with an honors diploma. I joined the Army. I went and served my country overseas. I came back. I'm in school now on the dean's list, getting my bachelor's degree. I'll be done in a year. I'm married to a man who loves me and supports me fully. And I feel like I'm proud of myself. And thank you for your service. But I still see the pain. I'm so hurt. I feel like... I just feel like nobody cares or, like... Your Honor, when I was getting deployed to Iraq, I wanted my family there. I took the time out to call Mr. Robinson, ask him to be there for me, you know? I'm getting ready to deploy. Can you come up to the unit? His answer was, I'm busy. And he lived in the same city, 15, 10 minutes away. And so you have not had the support... Never. ...of the man you believe is your biological father. Yes, Your Honor. Mr. Robinson. Yes, Your Honor. Talk to the court about your doubts, because this is a beautiful young woman here. Yes, Your Honor. I've always been there for Ms. Muller. Even from the day she was born up to this present day. I've all, even with my doubts that she was not my daughter, I was there for her. In what ways were you there for her? I because there... when I look at her, she wants that answer. I was always there. I always come visit her. Oh. I, I tried to take her places, oh. do things with her from the birth to this present day. So, Ms. Mueller, as you hear that testimony, you don't feel like he was there for you? No, Your Honor. Even at a point... I was in Oregon at one point, and I was in this abusive relationship. And the last person I wanted to call was Mr. Robinson, but I had no other choice. I called him and told him my situation. I told him, if you could just give me some money or give me... I, didn't, I don't even think I asked for money. I asked if I could come stay with him because I needed somewhere to go. He told me he didn't have any money, and... Uh, I, I think... I believe he told me I couldn't stay with lying. him. I am... So, Mr. Robinson, I want to ask you this. You, you know, you say you have doubt. Yes. But you also say you've always been there for I've her. I've been there because I've always been a stand-up man. I was raised yeah, to believe man. that if you were a father, you take care of your kids. Which you right. That was the way I was raised. Okay. And that's what I did. And I mean, do I... you understand that she believes you're her biological father? Not um... by the way they, they treated me, no. Oh, yeah. No, Yana. Oh. Okay. So, talk to me about this doubt and where it stems from. Take me back to this relationship with her mother. Yes, Your Honor, when, when Ms. Mueller was born, I was there, like I said, every day. You I... were in a relationship with her mother? Yes, I was. Okay. And, uh... Married? Not married. All right. I did everything a father should have done. And so, wait a minute. You're in a relationship with her mother, her mother gets pregnant, and you do everything a father should do, but you don't believe you are this child's <laughs> biological father. Yeah, I, I was going I need you to explain to me how that mm. happens. With the way she made me feel when Ms. Miller was Feelings born. ain't got nothing to do with mm. the DNA. Mm. Mm. I want to understand... Mm. Why do you have doubt? Were you having sex with her mother during the window of conception? Yes, I was, but... Okay. Now, do you have any notion, idea, belief, or proof that her mother was also having sex with anyone else? Well, she had a lot of men friends. When I come around, they always walk away, y'all. It gave me doubts because they walk away. Did you ever question her and say, hey, are you cheating on me? Are you having any other relationships? I did, Your Honor. And what was the answer? She always said, no, those are my friends. Those are just her friends? Yes. 
I come home one day and this guy's sitting in my house, relaxed and everything. And I'm like, how did you get here? He must have crawled under the house. Crawled under the house? Thank you. you. Mr. Robinson, step out in the aisle, please. Step out in the aisle. And just show me, walk towards me. You walking in the house, and where is the man? Sitting over on the couch. Did he have dirt on his clothes from crawling under the house? Oh, come on now. And then walk over to Jerome like he's the man. He's sitting on the couch, and you walk over and say what? I said, how you doing? And what'd he say? He spoke. And then what happened? That was... Did you ask him, why are you in my house? Mm. Mm. He, I kind of knew why he was there. Were you but all married I, at this time? He was one of the guys that I'm talking about. He was dating my sister. Oh, so why are you worried about if he was sleeping with your woman if he was sleeping with your sister? That's the way they do it in my town. <laughs> <laughs> Honey, you dropped the mic on that one. I'll, uh, okay, where were... <laughs> Jerome, remind me not to move to that town. <laughs> Right, I'd like to hear from Mom, because I would like to get the other side of this story. Please stand, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. State your name for the court. Miriam Cobbs. Ms. Cobbs, you are Ms. Mueller's mother. Yes, ma'am. All right, yes, so Mr. Robinson has asserted in court today, Ms. Cobbs, that you had a lot of men friends during your relationship. And when he'd come home suddenly, they, they'd be time for them to go. He's a bald-faced lie. Um, how, if, if you come up in your house and see another man up in there, you gonna be that calm? When I'm committed, I'm committed. I don't do no outside dipping and dapping. For us, him talking about being a father to her, no, he haven't. I want to get down to the bottom line. Please, let's get there. Mr. Robinson has doubt. I want to know why he has that doubt. Now, the first thing he asserted in court is that you were entertaining other men. No, sir. You say that is not correct. No, Your Honor, that's not. So this is just something he made up? Yes, ma'am. When you got pregnant with Ms. Mueller, in your mind, you were certain, positive, that Mr. Robinson was Ms. Mueller's biological yes, father? Yes, Your Honor. Did he participate in your pregnancy and in the birth? Yes, he did, Your Honor. That's when I was pregnant with her. This that's why the, he... Yes. This is a picture of when you I was guys pregnant with, Yes, ma'am, when, when I was pregnant, pregnant with, with Tamika. At that time, it looks like you were embracing your child oh, that's thank gonna you. be born, Mr. No, Robinson. I was trying to time. do the man. I was trying to do the right thing, y'all. Mm-hmm. You were at the hospital when Miss Mueller was born, Mr. Robinson. Yes, y'all. Did you sign the birth certificate? Yes, y'all. So you on the birth certificate? I'd like to see it, Jerome. Hand me that evidence, please. Child's name, Thermika Mueller. Who he named? After him. I Have was just about so to say, doubt. like, why would father's you name Thurman Robertson. Yeah, I no. don't think no. anybody's giving their child the name oh, okay, Thurman. Come on, come on Unless exactly. their father's name is Thurman. Exactly. Yes, Your Honor. See, see, a lot can go so why did you sign the birth certificate was, if you were unsure? I was trying to do the, the right thing, Your Honor. I was in love with her. And I would've, if she'd have told me to take off my shoes and walk to New York bare feet, I would've done it because I was that much in love with her. And so, in your mind, you wanted this relationship to continue. Yes, ma'am. Even though yes, you ma'am. had doubts, you didn't voice them because the truth is you didn't want to lose Miss Cobb. Did yes, you ever Honor. say, I have doubts? Yes, Your Honor. That's a lie, Your What Honor. did you say to her? Think, I think she was messing around. Now, you say I was. Now, hey, now you're thinking? Which one is I was, I wasn't? You know the truth. No, you know the truth. So, Miss Mueller, Mr. Robinson says he came to visit you. Said... He was doing the right thing. Do you have any memories of him Your coming Honor, to visit you? I have no recollection of Mr. Robinson until I was in foster care and um, I was at school and the principal came to my classroom and she told me it was someone here that wanted to meet me. She brought me down to the office and I remember seeing Mr. Robinson standing there and they told me that was my father and he was coming to take me home with him. That's when I went to go live with him when I was about nine and he took me to go stay with him. And I was excited at first, Your Honor, you know. I was thinking, you know, there's a family. I can go be with some family. When I got there, I, f- I felt like I didn't belong. They treated, Yo, she me, lying. they treated me like I was an outsider. I didn't get along with anyone. I had constantly, every day, my stepmom would tell me that he wasn't my father. What? She would, yes. she would tell me that another man was my father. Yes. She did. And so, wait a minute. Why go get the child if you're gonna bring her home just to have her be verbally abused? Yeah, Honor, it wasn't that way. <laughs> yes, I went was. to get her 
to take care of her, to get her out of foster care. If it was my child, right I want to do the right thing. All right, that's commendable. And you are her legal father because your name is on the birth certificate. No. Okay. So whether or not you are her biological father, you are the legal father under the law. Were you paying child support all the time? Yes, Your Honor. Oh, so you're paying child support for this baby? Yes, Your Honor. Okay, and now you also are on the birth certificate. Yes, Your Honor. So you go get her, you bring her to your home. Yes, Your Honor. And my wife treated her as she was one of the other kids. She never mistreated her. No, you didn't her. even yeah. treat me like I was <laughs> one of your kids. Miss Mueller, were you treated differently? Yes, yes Your no, Honor. No, Your Honor, she's lying. Yes, what Your happened? Honor, I Your can Honor. remember birthdays. Yeah. Birthdays, Your... my sister, or a family member, she had, like, a bed full of toys and everything. When it came around to my birthday, his excuse was, I, didn't, I ain't got no Your money. Honor. Your Honor, she's I lying. I can't do this. She's even lying, my, Even my, my, my stepsister, everything, he treated them like they were royalty. Did he ever say anything to you about whether or not he was your biological father? I had a conversation with him, and I asked him, do you think you're my father? And he told me no. And how old were you when he told you that? Uh, about 25, 26. Okay. So you were honest when she got older? Yes. That I don't think you're my biological child, but yes. just in case you were, yes, I had to go get you. Yes, Your Honor. You brought a witness. I'd like to hear from him. Please stand, sir. <laughs> State your name for the court. Lamarcus Robinson. Mr. Robinson, you obviously are Mr. Thurman Robinson's son. Yes, Your Honor. Do you believe Ms. Mueller is your sister? There is doubt. There is doubt. Yes, Your Honor. Tell the court why you feel that way. Well, let me start off with saying this. My father is a great father. Oh, to you. Mm. To everyone. To you. He did everything that he could possibly to make sure that we were taken care of. He had a stepdaughter. He took care of her. Mm. He took care of Mrs. Miller. His own daughter. Took care of all of us. We had counseling before she moved in. They sat us down and told us, hey, you potentially have a sister who's gonna come in and move in with us. I want you guys to treat her like you would treat everyone else. Love her and accept her. They told us this before she even moved in. And so we were prepping for her to get here. We were excited. And then when we got there, that excitement kind of went out the window because of some of the behaviors that Mrs. Miller was uh, displaying. Uh, she was very disrespectful to my mother. Anything my mother tried to engage with her, she would uh, push back. She didn't want anything to do with her. <laughs> Did your father ever tell you whether or not he believed he was Ms. Mueller's biological father? He never told me that personally. But you heard rumors, you heard buzzing around the neighborhood, you heard people say, hey, that might not be your sister. And when, as a child, when you hear that so much, many times, you start to believe it. <laughs> okay, thank you for your testimony. Ms. Bueller, before we go to results, I want you to state to the court why these results are so important to you today. I want to have a relationship with him. I'm getting ready to have um, a renewal ceremony with my husband once we hit the five-year mark. I want my father to be there with me. I want a relationship. I want to know what traits I get from you. What, well, you know, how, why am I like I am? Where do I get my stubbornness from? Is it you? Well, you know, that's what I want to know. You are an amazing, strong, yes, beautiful young woman. Proud of my baby. And the fact that you have come this far mm -hmm. and can stand in this courtroom with the courage yes. to speak your heart, speak your mind, and relive some very painful moments, yeah. I think is, it's remarkable. And I think it's important before we go to results that you take a moment to talk to them about why this means so much to you and what happened to you. I feel like I needed you. I feel like I had to learn the hard way how a man is supposed to treat me. I might have been a tough child, but I didn't need you to throw me away. You put me back in foster care. You chose to go back to foster care. No, you put... You chose I chose to go, to go live with my mom. Right. You chose to put me in foster care I rather didn't than choose that. letting me go live with her. I did not. Do you know what happened to me in foster care? That. I needed you. Listen, this is one of the reasons why this courtroom is so important. We now 29, almost 30 years later, and this child still doesn't know if this is, in fact, her biological father. But I got the truth in this envelope. You want it? Yes, Your Honor. Jerome, I'm ready. These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics, and they read as follows. In the case of Mueller versus Robinson, when it comes to 29-year-old Thermika Mueller. It has been determined by this court. Mr. Robinson, you
are her father. What? Bam! Bam! That's what I'm talking about. You are the father, sir. I see him trying to discredit me. I always tried to be that for her. <laughs> and I love you. You don't act discredit like you me. I'll be there for her if she, if she wants me in her life. You just heard her testify that she wants you to walk her down the aisle. Your Honor, she never mentioned that. When OK, I... stop, Mr. Robinson, stop. This is, this is how you move forward. You move forward by not moving back. Right. And so now, Ms. Mueller, I want you to give your father this opportunity. And Mr. Robinson, I want you to take it. I will, And Honor. take it seriously. Yes, you And Ms. Mueller, I want you to remember, you said something in your testimony that rocked me to the core when you said, but you didn't have to throw me away. Mm -hmm. you, you are not trash. Do you understand me? Yes, Your Honor. You are a worthy, beautiful young lady. Thank you, Your Honor. Don't you ever forget that. Because when we think we're not worthy, we don't act worthy. And then we block our own blessings, right? Yeah. Get out of your own way and move forward into a positive, beautiful experience with your newfound family, all right? Yes, Your Honor. I wish you the very best of luck. Court is adjourned.